Hello and welcome to this tutorial of Shopify Odoo Connector by AmiPro. In this video, I will show you how to configure workflow settings for a Shopify instance in Odoo. For that, we will go to Shopify and then scroll down. Here is the option of Sale Auto Workflow. Click on it and then as we can see, no workflow settings are configured here. So we will quickly create a new one by clicking Create. And these are the fields that we need to fill up. But let me first tell you that what is the purpose of this workflow settings. When you're importing your orders from Shopify to Odoo, you need to do process for that order. Let's say you need to validate that order, create the invoice for that order and validate that invoice and register payment. Or let's say you just want quotation for that particular order. So you may want the automatic process for that order. So it would be possible with the help of workflow configuration. And I'll show you that how we can do that. So firstly give the name of your workflow. Let's say workflow 1. After that go to the sales journal. When you create an invoice for your customer that have an entry in a particular sales journal. You can configure that particular which sales journal you want to set here and you can select it from here. After that the option is order configuration. In that we have shipping policy and invoicing policy. So firstly we'll see for shipping policy. When you are delivering the order at that time which shipping policy you want to adopt. So here we have two options. If you want to deliver all the products at once then select deliver all products at once and suppose if customer places an order of 5 products, 3 of them are available and 2 of them are not available and you want to deliver which are available then select this option deliver each product when available. After that we have invoicing policy. When you are creating an invoice at that time how you want to create it. Let's say a customer has placed an order of 5 products and you deliver 3 products first and 2 yet to be delivered. So at that time how you want to make an invoice you want to make an invoice of ordered quantities or you just want to make it for the deliver quantities select it as per your relevant so i'm selecting this one the next and the most important is workflow option this is the main part because over here you will decide how exactly do you wish to process your orders for this particular workflow and in the workflow option here is the option of validate order which is unchecked right now so if i try to import my orders from shopify to odoo with this unchecked option the orders will be imported and they will be available in this area of quotation but if i have checked this option that means that I have validated the particular order and the sales order for that particular order will be created in this area of sales order. After that here the second stage is create invoice. The sales order is created but the invoice is not generated. So if I want to generate an invoice as well I have to check this option. After generating the invoice the next step would be the validate invoice. So if you want to validate the invoice automatically for this workflow you can check this option on now we have validated order created invoice and validated invoice as well so now we will have the next step is register payment in the certain payment methods you would want the payment should be registered automatically if that is the case you should check this option on notice that when you check this option on you will have one more field over here as payment journal that is to which is your payment journal when the payment is registered you need to make an entry in payment journal so which journal it would be so you can select it from here you can configure it in your account section and based on your configuration the list will be available here so as i am selecting now bank so for this particular workflow whenever an order will be imported the payment will automatically register and entry for that will be created in this particular journal after that if you want to add force invoice rate then check this option on what this will do if this is checked then the invoice date and the order date forced to remain same if you don't want then you can uncheck this option but if you want the invoice date and the order date are same then you should check this as well so based on your requirement you can configure your workflow and now i'm just finalizing this workflow for that go to save and save it and then to see this workflow how it looks then go to seal auto workflow again 
and here we can see that our workflow is configured successfully and here we have the field of validate order create invoice validate invoice and free invoice read all the fields are checked so with the same process you can configure multiple workflow based on your requirement Thank you for watching this video. I hope the video was helpful. Amipro specializes in providing customization, consultancy and support for any and all services related to Odoo. So feel free to contact us on www.amiprotechnologies.com.